what is up guys i got a really weird one for you new ecobee thermostats these are those wi-fi digital thermostats touch all touch screen using them on climate master water source heat pumps in conjunction with these taco valves that open up the uh condenser water supply whenever it gets a call for cooling so i thought i had one of these bad so i came here with a new one and this sucker i just have to show you but it's wigging out the whole system it's crazy so this is brand new just took the wrapper off of it i want to show you guys something right now this thermostat is just the cooling is off it's fan only i have the fan Set to on. It's on. Up here, we're back at that place, by the way, it has hard lid underneath the water source heat pump, so just the access right here. Climate Master water source heat pump. 24 volts coming from over there. I have the jumper not connected. I'm gonna hook this up. I'm gonna show you guys something. Watch what this circuit board does up here whenever I connect the zone valve up to the system at all and usually it's hooked up to the yellow wire here coming from the eco b so your yellow wire would go to the zone valve the zone valve would power up delay open up to make the water supply up here turn on for the condenser water once that got open then your 24 volts would jump over to the in switch and go out and back over to the y input the circuit board and give the compressor permission to run once the valve is open close the end switch but right now I'm just gonna hook 24 volts up right here from the transformer just gonna hook it up to the zone valve watch what the circuit board does wigs out eventually the little status light on the circuit board will uh, even go weird and give a false code it's flashing the green light on the takeo valve which means it's in delay standby and then all of a sudden you'll get to where that motor is gonna turn Come on, this is you know, normal. There's a delay on the takeo valves when they get to 24 volts. There it goes. Once that goes, then the clicks are less, but it still happens. And originally last week, the maintenance people that were here were telling me about it. They go, dude, this thing's like clicking randomly. We had a fault code for a condenser overflow, which I checked the whole unit out. It didn't have any problem with the water. This thing randomly gets clicks and get, causes the circuit board to wig out. But what I found is happening is the clicks is the green input from the Ecobee digital thermostat erratically, quickly opening and closing. Open, close, open, close, open, close. And that action wigs out the circuit board. But the thing that's causing the Ecobee to do it is something is dirty on the 24 volt power to the takeo valve. The only thing the takeo valve is hooked up is to is directly across 24 volts coming into the circuit board from the transformer. Now I disconnect the takeo valve, everything will go normal. <laughs> I thought I had a bad thermostat the other day, so I swapped it. Thought maybe the circuit board was just weird, but it's not. It's the freaking takeo valve. Now let's look at one of these takeo valves. I have it apart right here. It's got a circuit board in there. And then the circuit board has that delay and the blinking light you saw, and then all of a sudden it'll drive the motor, which drives open the zone valve. This motor runs on at about five volts DC. But the thing is, I'm thinking the motor is, uh, brush style motor, there it is. The brush style motor is just making like interference on the 24 volts, and that Ecobee is just real sensitive. But then I got thinking, wait a minute, as soon as this gets 24 volts, it's wigging out, but yet this circuit board has a nice long delay before it even starts energizing this motor. All right, plugged in, motor wire is cut. It's not even, the motor's disconnected now. Got just a fan running. I'm gonna put 24 volts. Still does it. Huh. That's a delay, which means it probably hasn't even tried to energize the motor, which is disconnected and it's wigging out. If I go and jumper 24 volts right from red to green to bypass the Ecobee, this will stop clicking. 
and everything's fine. And what's clicking is this fan relay. You can put your hand on there and feel it. It's going nuts. And there, just stop. Because that went past the delay phase, and I've got a steady light. So now it's going to click every couple seconds. Oh, and see what it does? Eventually, that little green status LED changes. See, it went blank. Sometimes it'll, yeah, there it goes. It's like in a fault mode or something, or a test mode or something. All because the fan input was being cycled on and off like crazy. It makes this thing go nuts. Isn't that crazy? And just in case anybody wonders why they have the water valves on these, the only purpose of the water valve is, is for each unit that's not actively heating or cooling, the zone valve will shut off the water to the heat exchanger loop in here. And as you start cycling off units in a big high-rise building like this, you have less demand, less flow, your um, differential pressure will start going up because you're closing off, you know, valves in parallel and uh, VFD will slow down your condenser water pump and save you money on a building. Save you quite a bit if you drop the pump down to like half speed or whatnot. So, like I said, it takes like a quarter of the power to run a pump at half speed. So, I wish I had my little digital, little cheap Amazon oscilloscope, but I must have left it at home. So, we're gonna have to check this at home. What is it guys? I am at the house now. On a workbench, got a transformer hooked up, and we're looking at the output of the transformer. You see, you got a nice, clean sine wave, as expected, using my little handheld LCD, which I forgot here at home, or otherwise I could have done this uh, there. I have it set, and we got uh, the top half of the sine wave, just so you could look at it zoomed in. Let's see how it's smooth there. So I just have the 24 volts not connected yet to this Taco valve. You see there's a little circuit board in there. And when I was reading the instructions for it, it describes it as needing to charge the capacitors and that's why the light is blinking. And then once they're charged up, then it powers the motor, which like I looked earlier, it was something like five volts basically. Okay, I got this rigged up 24 volt transformer there. Got the little handheld LCD scope. As well as the other one hooked up, sine wave is great, smooth, put 24 volts, LED is going to start blinking until the capacitors get charged up inside and then the motor will drive and there goes the motor because it wasn't left unplugged. I've noticed that the longer you leave it unplugged, the uh, longer the delay is before it uh, opens the motor. And whenever this thing's blinking, and whenever it first opens up, there's like tons of artifacts on that 24 volt sine wave. There they are, just tons of them. Oh, he's blinking. Just things going nuts there. And then once it's open, it's just a there's an artifact. There's another one. It's like once a second. It's pretty random. Sometimes they go a couple seconds without one. But when that thing was charging the capacitors, it's like click, 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 just all sorts of noise. So I don't know why, but Taco, you got something going on with these zone sensories. They, uh, they make the 24 volt sine wave dirty. Most AC systems don't give a crap about it, but those Ecobee thermostats, I got a couple of them that just don't like these. So <laughs> I don't know what they would do to be able to fix that. But evidently, uh, for right now, I can't use these valves in conjunction with the Ecobee digital thermostats on some of our uh, units. Okay, I got the oscilloscope zoomed in a little bit more. Let's see what kind of noise we got on there. See, it goes to hell when you connect that Taco valve. Look at all that, look at all that noise. The only thing that's hooked up is a transformer and a takeo valve. And now the motor's opening, so it smooths out. And then you're just gonna get a glitch every once in a while rather than multiple times a second, but it's still glitching. It's exactly the results I get inside the uh, Climate Master. Click, 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 click. When the stupid thing's charging its capacitors in there and then uh, a click every second or so, or every, you might even go a couple seconds without clicking. Uh, once it's open That's weird. That's the craziest thing. It must have like a switching 
power supply that just pulling a quick spike in current to charge up those capacitors, and it just sucks. <laughs> Let's try this again, being a little more zoomed in on the digital. Yeah, it's foobard, man. Look at that. It's like, what the hell? Of course, it makes the oscilloscopes try to change their sync and everything. So, evidently, the DC to DC power supply in there is whacking away, man. Well, there. You guys missed that one. I just uh, put a little rectifier diode on here and to feed in... Uh, rectify the 24 volts AC to DC and feed it into one of my own circuit boards just to show you that it wasn't going to screw up the sine wave like that. And kaboom! This capacitor just exploded because it was only a 16 volt capacitor because I was this probably going to only have like 12 volts feeding into it. And you're probably getting a good 30 something volts DC which this chip is supposed to be good for. Hopefully I didn't screw it up too. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> okay, well that cost me, so just got this circuit board back up and running again. Blue, the voltage regulator, 5 volt voltage regulator IC, smoked it. And it's a little bastard right there, surface mount, which I've been using now. Just put a 20 pin P-dip next to it just to show you the difference in size. Yeah, so... uh that's going in the trash can, but I am glad that that's all that exploded. I put a 50 volt uh, capacitor on there on the input side, and so uh, I repaired this controller, and then I hooked up the transformer again, halfway rectified it and hooked it up to this because I just wanted to see that this wasn't uh, causing any interference on the sine wave or not, and fried another chip. And then, it's kind of funny is this diode also shorted on the first one, so I throw that away. So, uh, I kind of looked up here on the ratings, and my original chip I was able to put at least 30 volts DC into, but look at this one though, the absolute maximum ratings, voltage in, supply voltage, 24, and I was feeding it over 30 probably, but the things I go through to try to make you guys some good videos. <laughs> Definitely let the smoke out. Speaking of letting the smoke out, since the chip's already fried, let's just go ahead and put power back to it and finish it off. Come on. There it goes.